We're back. How did you do? There are five states involved here, S0 through S4. And clearly, uh, if you have an input of 0, S0 stays where it is, with an output of 1. If you have, if you're at S0 and you have an input of 1, you transition to F4 with an output of 1. So working your way through the table, hopefully you should have a diagram that looks something like this. Let's now try an example working in the other direction. This time I've given you a state diagram and I want you to come up with the uh, transition function and the output function in tabular form. You can pause and see what you get. Uh, but before you pause, let me get you started by giving you the table to fill in. So there are three states, S0, S1, S2, S3. There is the transition function, F, where the inputs are zeros and ones. And there's the output function g. The inputs are still zeros and ones, and then the outputs are what happens in red, which will also be zeros and ones. Now pause and fill in the table. How did you do? Did you see that starting at state 0 with an input of 0, you get directed to uh, state S3? So that means the S0 input 0 entry of the transition function F better be S3. Terrific. Let's just check a couple others. The output of the function for this particular um, input pair was 0, so notice over here the S0 input of 0 has an output of 0 as well. So this red 0 corresponds to that red 0. What else can we check? S0 with an input of 1 gets transitioned to S1. So S0 with an input of 1 gets transitioned to S1. And the Output is given in red above, is also 1, which is why we have an output of 1 here. Let's check one other one, maybe uh, S3. Let's try S3 with an input of 0 gets transitioned to S1. So that's why the S3 0 input goes to S1. But the S3 with an input of 1 transitions back to S3, so S3, 1 transitions back to S3 with an output of 1. So you should be able to check all the rest of your cells and hopefully we agree. With that, I'm going to leave the topic of finite state machines with output and move on to section 13.3 and we'll talk about finite state machines without output, sometimes known as finite state automata.